In Star Wars, it is a sin for Jedi to have attachments of any kind. This is why it was such a big ordeal when the Council examined Anakin Skywalker, brought before them by Qui-Gon Jinn. It was something that was unheard of, and mainly due to the fact that after a certain age of being a youngling, Jedi applicants are raised without learning that relationships, anger, and emotions are wrong. The Jedi Code states that there is no emotion, there is only peace. This can only be achieved through living like a monk and abolishing any sentient needs to love and social connection. They felt it would lead all Jedi to the same fate as perceived for Anakin. However, what Yoda didn't realize was that attachments and emotion are some of the strongest allies the Jedi could have. Let's examine six reasons for our purpose here in this video, saving the best for last. Let's begin with this scene for example number one. This is the scene where we see Obi-Wan harness the dark side to avenge his murdered master, whom he was deeply attached to. If Obi-Wan really had no attachments like the Jedi commanded, then the loss of Qui-Gon would not have phased him. <laughs> therefore not eliciting any hatred or emotions in general towards Maul. This means he wouldn't be able to draw upon the dark side through his emotions, which was the sole reason he was able to kill Maul. For further evidence, here's Kenobi's fighting ability with Maul before using his anger and emotions. <laughs> And then now, after. There's a big difference. This is one aspect of the Sith I like. It's that they are emotional and their emotions can fuel their passion and drive. Whereas the Jedi protect or fight because the Republic orders them to, as if they were some sort of mindless droid. In terms of the dark side and the rules on attachment, that leads us to a different video entirely that I will cover this week if you all want it. However, I will briefly say that the Sith felt attachments weren't beneficial either. However, in Kylo's example, his test to begin the end of his training from Snoke was to kill the one person he is most attached to. That being his father. So for the Sith, this case is different. However, both fall from the same circle in terms of how they are used. The second reason and piece of evidence here is, let's take this scene, as we see Luke meditating during his training with Yoda on Dagobah. If he hadn't received images of Leia and Han in trouble on Cloud City, then he would never have gone to Bespin to save them, meaning they'd be dead or turned to slaves, with Han sent to Jabba's palace frozen in carbonite, while R2 would be destroyed or reprogrammed, leading us all the way to Episode 7, where he contained Luke's missing map piece so that Rey could find him and bring him back. Without those emotions for Leia and Han, this wouldn't have happened. Example number 3, Anakin's loss of his mother. Countless times, his premonitions and abilities to see into the future told him that his mother was in danger. However, due to the Jedi Code and Obi-Wan's constant reiteration to be mindful of his thoughts, he waited too long and she died. Many might say, well, if Anakin didn't have any attachments to his mother, then he wouldn't have felt the need to save anyone. While this is true, but it is fictitious seeing as how he did have an attachment to his mother, and while it was forcefully ignored, if it wasn't, then she would still be alive and Anakin would never have stepped his foot into the dark side when he killed the Tusken children. The Jedi's inability to conform for certain situations caused many issues that could have been prevented. Reason and example number four. When Obi-Wan and Anakin dueled Dooku on the Shadow's hand, Anakin was enraged by the possibility of Obi-Wan dying at the hands of the Count after he was knocked unconscious. This led to Anakin finally letting go of his anger and fear, and using them just as Obi-Wan had used his on Maul, and the result was beating Dooku and saving the Chancellor, to their knowledge of course. He cut off your arm, and you wanted revenge. It wasn't the first time, Anakin. Remember what you told me about your mother and the Sand People? The fifth example is taken from Legends and the Expanded Universe. Luke's new Jedi Order is much more flexible and realistic. It allows for love, family, friends, and attachments because, as a normal person, Luke understands how much all of this is needed for a healthy society, which in turn results in a mentally balanced Jedi. The sixth and most concrete example, Luke redeems Vader because Darth Vader couldn't watch his son die. 
Vader wouldn't have been redeemed if he were watching Palpatine smite some random rebel soldier. It was his connection to Luke which reminded him of himself, of Anakin Skywalker, that helped him break free of the depression that Vader wallowed in. The same can be reversed. When Luke cut off Vader's hand, we see him reflect upon his own severed hand and realizes that they are not different at all, but rather the same. He knew it was his father under the mask and therefore he pulled back. As he entered the dark side to strike Vader down, he stopped himself, remembering his training with Yoda in the cave on Dagobah, knowing that he feared only himself. Without his attachment to his father, he would not have stopped, but rather killed Vader and joined the Emperor, just as I've mentioned in another video about his dark thoughts. Without attachments, the Jedi would have not have been able to achieve some of the very things they accomplished. What do you all think? Are Jedi better off without attachments? Was Yoda right? Or is there some sort of amendment that could be made to this rule? I'd love to hear your thoughts below. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I really appreciate all the kind messages you send. I also want you to know that I receive a good four to 500 private messages daily on the Facebook page and I'm doing my best to answer every single one. So I hope you don't think I'm ignoring you. That's really not the case at all. I'll see you all in tomorrow's episode of Star Wars Theory. Until then, my fellow Jedi and Sith friends, the Force will be with you. Always.